Hello YouTube, Anything's Possible Music here, how are we? Now I'm going to ask you a question, do you have new music coming out or have you got a song that's just come out? I'm going to show you Tone Dev for creating smart links. Now I've created a couple and I realised I should probably have done this previously when my music come out but I'm, I've only really just discovered it. I've realised it's actually a really good tool if you've got new music coming out. So I'm just going to show you how to create a smart link in terms of getting all that music into one place ready for your new single to come out and then you can just put that one link all over the shop. So it's a, it's a pretty quick video but it's actually going to be really helpful if you've got a new song coming out. So obviously please subscribe to this channel, please like this video, please share with your friends and uh, hopefully you enjoy this rest of the video because it's actually going to be quite a helpful video for you. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your golden source of music, which in most cases for a lot of people will be Spotify. Now, previously I, I hadn't used Tone Den for promoting my previous songs. So going forward, I'm definitely going to consider Smart Links as a definite option. So uh, I'm going to look at Brothers and Sisters just on this example, which is a little dancey, bassy song. So if you could check that out as a thank you, that'd be very grateful. So I'm just going to go and copy this Spotify link. And then we're just going to go over to Tone Den. So I won't show you how to create an account. Uh, you can obviously work that one out yourself. But on the top left hand corner, you will see a list of campaigns where you will see smart links, social unlocks, and uh, we will be looking at smart links. So as you can see, I have done two already, uh, which I've experimented with Facebook ads. And as you can see, I do get a pretty good click through rate on them. So they are pretty effective, I think, as a source of getting your information across to people so what you want to do is you want to just click on the the create link on the top right and you get given this option so in this case we want to use music but you can use these smart links for a whole host of different reasons so we are looking at existing release uh, i don't know too much about upcoming but i'm just going to click the existing now you get the spotify link to your track or your album now you put in your single for example and what it's going to do is you're going to set up the link and it's going to pull in the links for what it thinks is other sources so this is one thing you do need to check you will the first one's obviously going to be pretty obvious but it's going to pull through a few other music sources like apple music and Deezer, as you can see but what you need to check is whether or not they're correct or not so also down the right hand side you can see a link to the, the sync but uh, so i am just checking out the diesel one so that you can see the diesel link works itunes i'm not too fussed about itunes you know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down i'm going to make it hidden now you can put as many links on here as possible if you want i'd probably advise not doing that so i just think streamlining it but let's check out youtube so here we go. It's like, what on earth is this? It's like, hang on. What's this video? It's nothing to do with me. Cards on the table, Kardashians. Oh, God, no. So, obviously, close that. You don't want the Kardashians appearing on your smart links uh, unless you, that's whatever, that's what you want. So, you can see just as an example where it's not pulling in the correct link so this is one thing you're gonna to have to check you're gonna to have to make sure your links are correct but uh, you can also include things like Bandcamp so if you want to put a place where you can actually sell your music as well like Bandcamp you can put a link in there and you can see there's other things as well so what happens is we're gonna to move to the next page now this is gonna generate a preview for you so as you can see you can design your own cover I'm just using the cover that is pulled from Spotify. There are plenty of other description bits as well. So I'm just going to change that to say, check out an amazing new single by Anything's Possible. And uh, just put out now. So as you can see, I'm just going to amend that. I think you have options to change colors as well. So you can see the preview on the right hand side. You can see the links I've selected, Spotify, Apple Music and Deezer. Now, I could put other links on there, like my link tree as well, or my social one locks as well, which I've created. Now, I haven't done a video for them quite yet, but uh, 
you can if you want to try and attract playlist followers as well but i'm not going to do that we can wait for the next video but you can see the preview is starting to generate and you can just customize it to make it look how you like it really so yeah there are plenty of options here and you're just going to click the continue button as well now this is the preview bit I, I don't know too much about it so i don't think i'm gonna waste my time on this section now as you can see you've got a title you've got a description that's done you've got a preview we've done that so click continue and um, this is where you can customize your url so we don't really want that so just type in something new like brothers and sisters that's right and as you can see that's going to change the url at the bottom as you can see so you can change it also what your domain looks like so i think fan link is the most suitable option out of the ones that are in the drop down but you can obviously choose whatever you want uh, the next section brings in your things like Facebook Pixel, which I am learning about Facebook ads, etc. So if I am going to do a Facebook ad using this link, it is going to already pull in the Facebook Pixel for me, which should hopefully generate better advert conversions, etc. I'm not an expert on that, so uh, watch out for my future videos once I do learn about it. And that's it. I think you can do things like your social media links in there i tend to do that via sort of uh, my link tree but uh, and that's it so you can see i've generated the link you can see i can copy the link now i can click on the what's it so let's just go and look and see what it looks like so let's just take the link that it's generated me put it into a browser obviously you can do this in a facebook post instagram post twitter post and that's basically what it looks like you know and obviously then people if this was an advert that someone's just clicked on they would then click on play and it takes you back to spotify you know and people then just start listening to music just like that so that's um basically the video i think that's you can start messing around with these generate your own ones and basically see what how you like it so what do you think so YouTube, that was a pretty quick video on how to create a smart link. Now, obviously you can make those links as complicated or as simple as possible. If you're literally going to do a Facebook advert uh, for Spotify, then you just want to make sure you've only got the Spotify link in there. So you just create the link design for your advertising purposes. So it just gives you a link. You can just shove it all in one place and it's just really useful. I mean, it's a shame that I didn't know about this previously when our music was coming out. So going forward, when I get a new single coming out, I'm just going to create a smart link for a particular song or a particular album. And hopefully that's going to make a big difference when it comes to my Facebook advertising, etc. So I hope you found this video very useful. Please check out my previous videos. And uh, remember to like the video, comment and subscribe. All the best. Thank you.